Welcome to Torrens University Australia, Billy Blue College of Design. I'm Robin Latimer, the Program Director of the two courses you see here on your screen, the Diploma of Graphic Design and the Bachelor of Communication Design. I'm going to walk you through both courses just so you get to have a little bit more insight into each one and what makes them different so you can figure out which one's more appropriate for you. So the Diploma of Graphic Design is a 12 month course if you're a full time student or maybe studied part time as well um, and usually takes two years to do that version. It has 12 subjects within the, the whole course. So if you're a full time student, you take four subjects per trimester. In terms of each subject, you are allocated and timetabled three hours of study per week if you're an on-campus student. And then on top of that, you'd allow an additional five hours per subject per week on average to be eight hours per week per subject. So that gives you a good idea of the workload involved with the course. If you're an online student, you would have a webinar to attend each week that would normally run up to somewhere about an hour. Um, the webinars are recorded. If you can't attend live, you can also play them back at a time that suits you. The course is particularly flexible as it's available fully online as well as fully on campus or you can do a combination of the two. You could take some subjects on campus and some subjects online. So it's particularly um, flexible and easier to access for people that might work full time, for example. There are some subjects available in the evenings to be able to come in after you work during the day. Uh, and you may, if you're a part time person, take say one on campus in the evening and one subject online each trimester. Then when you've completed the course, should you decide to continue your studies, you have not lost any time. You are fully credited for this first uh, diploma course and you will go into the Bachelor of Communication Design if you choose to do that course at second year level. So it's simply a different pathway to entering directly from the, diploma, um, from the Bachelor of Communication Design. However, um, if you choose to finish this course after the 12 months and enter the industry, you will be industry ready. And that's what makes it, makes it quite um, special as well as a one year course. It's a standalone course. So what you see here now are the 12 subjects listed in study order. And it's very important that you take the course in the correct study order as it's designed to build your knowledge and scaffold your learning and your skill set. So the first trimester on the left you'll see is made up of four subjects. Uh, the grey subject is what we call a common core subject, design context. It is very much the foundation of design, the history of design, and it will set you up with study skills, research skills, referencing skills, um, and, and a very solid foundation to continue and base all your, your approaches to all your other subjects. And from there you take design software, which is using the industry standard software of Adobe Creative Cloud. And then typography is the foundation subject to understand um, fonts, anatomy of type. Um, and that's very important as a designer to have a solid typographic background. Then the two red subjects are an either or choice. This is the only elective option within this course. All the other 11 subjects are required to be taken as compulsory core subjects. So you can choose between two image based subjects, illustration or camera and capture. So illustration as it sounds is obviously about it's uh, using traditional and digital illustration techniques and then camera and capture is in an introductory subject to digital photography. Then in the middle trimester you have finished art, symbols and branding, design industry, typography 2 which builds upon your initial foundation ty typography subject. Then the final trimester is made up of interaction design, design thinking 1, specialisation and career preparation. So as you can see, um, you work through and build up your knowledge and the final career preparation subject establishes um, 
more business acumen with how to run a studio, be a freelance designer and of that all important portfolio creation so that you're industry ready to go and get a job at an entry level as a designer, a junior designer or a finished artist in the industry. One thing I'd like to say with this course, whilst you might see subjects called design software, design industry and finished art that might sound a bit dry, every subject within this course is delivered as an industry brief. So you end up doing a project like you would in a design studio and have a portfolio piece at the end of each subject. So by the time you get to career preparation you have a lovely body of work showing um, that you've touched on all aspects and areas of graphic design. So you have lots of options whether you, of areas you might want to go into, whether it be digital, user experience, web design, print design and so on. So I'll just stroll through the subjects. Just I've got some student examples sitting there just to give you a flavour of each subject. I won't go into huge descriptions um, in this webinar as subject descriptors are available when you enrol to have a, have a clearer um, indication from each subject. So we're up to illustration and camera and capture. Finished art. As you see, you design um, a three-dimensional packaging uh, design for that subject, symbols and branding, design industry, typography 2, interaction design which is essentially user experience design for digital formats, design thinking 1 which is about product from user to disposal, seeing the full cycle of design. Specialisation involves a live brief with an industry client, so you get uh, some real industry experience. And then the final career preparation subject. Now should you decide you've done um, the Diploma of Graphic Design and want to continue into the Bachelor of Communication Design, you can do that and will be uh, credited in full for your prior study. The course structure is full-time three years over nine trimesters or uh, a minimum of two years if you chose to do it in an accelerated version with four subjects per trimester and you need to complete it within a five-year period. You have 24 subjects in total in the three-year degree so uh, over one year eight subjects is a full-time study load so we generally say you would take um, three subjects in the first trimester, three in the second and two in the third trimester to total eight in the year. Again, you would have three timetabled study hours per week, but on top of that you would have seven hours allowed for personal uh, self-directed study time to total ten hours on average per week per subject. So consider that when you are deciding how many subjects to take. This, this course is not delivered fully online. That's a difference between it and the Diploma of Graphic Design. Some subjects are available online, but not all subjects. So you do need to be able to attend a campus for certain subjects. Um, you can take a, a selection of subjects online and the others face-to-face, -face, or you can take every subject face-to-face. -face. It's up to you. It has two particular features. It has work integrated learning and internship programs in the third year of the degree. And you have uh, two exit points within the, th the three year degree. After the first eight subjects or 12 months full time, you can exit with a diploma of communication design. And after 16 subjects or the first two years of the Bachelor of Communication, you can exit with an associate degree or if you continue to the third year which we would hope you would do you would exit with the full bachelor degree of communication design. Now the reason um, we I, I don't really recommend starting out just to do the diploma of graphic design versus doing the 12 month diploma of graphic design course we talked about earlier is because the diploma of communication design is one third of a three-year degree, whereas the Diploma of Graphic Design is a structured, designed 12-month course that's totally self-contained. So if you're intending to only do one year of study, 
take the Diploma of Graphic Design. Should you decide to continue into the Bachelor, you've lost no time, you will be fully credited and go directly into the second year of the Communication Design course. The 24 subjects within the course fall within these three categories. You have 11 core subjects that are uh, specialisation subjects within communication design. You have five elective subjects where you choose what subjects you might take from elective banks and you have what we call eight common core subjects. I'll just touch on the common core system. It's very unique to Billy Blue. We um, just describe them as design agnostic because they are shared subjects among all our bachelor courses. So you'll be in classes with communication design, branded fashion, interior design, digital media, and in some cases, photo imaging students. And um, even for design context, the foundation subject, the diploma of graphic design students in the same subjects. Design's a very collaborative industry. So it's really important to meet and work with other designers and skill sets because that's what you do in industry. So you'll be able to develop those relationships uh, and see the strengths of other students and what and learn from what their streams um, and courses are teaching them as well. In the next slide you'll see all the light grey subjects. Now those are the eight common core subjects. So they're very different to other courses that have shared foundation subjects. They tend to do the shared subjects within the first year of study and then branch out into their specialisations. We have them peppered throughout the whole course at all levels of study. So you maintain that uh, those relationships and networks you build throughout the course um, and in the varying subjects will make use of each other's uh, strengths and particular study areas and knowledge. Now the dark grey subjects on this chart are the um, communication design specialisation subjects and then the dotted lined subjects are your five elective spaces where you get to choose from the elective bank. Once again it's really important to study the course in the correct study order uh, and build your knowledge and your learning. If you jump ahead you will struggle because you do really need um, the foundation levels first and there are a couple of subjects that actually have prerequisites so you can't take them until you've done the first study. If you look, jump up to trimester 9 and you'll see that you have the WILL 302 or 302B subject called Work Integrated Learning. And um, that is the option of either an internship or a live brief, industry brief. It's a very um, important subject to get you industry ready. It's like you have one foot in the door of university and then one foot in industry so that you, it's helping you bridge that gap to industry and transition to industry in more smoothly. I'll also note uh, in brackets after each subject there's the letters OL plus F2F, OL stands for online and F2F means face to face. So those subjects are available as either an online class or a face to face subject, whereas the other subjects that only have face to face after them are not yet available online. What you can see now is the elective bank and I'd just like to talk about this briefly. You'll note that they are colour coded. So the red subjects you can see are the communication design elective options and then the blue subjects are user experience design elective op options. The purple subjects are uh, motion design elective options and the grey ones are three 3D design and animation and then there's one subject in there from the games design course called game design principles to give you foundation in game design if you're interested in that area. Then there are a few grey subjects from uh, two from fashion on uh, social media marketing and branding which are very important for all designers to understand and creative thinking processes is from the interior design course. So the reason I've colour coded them uh, horizontally is so that you can see how they feed into one another and plan your progression through the course and your elective choices. Some subjects have brackets after them that say a, another subject code. That means it's a prerequisite. You can't select that subject until you've done the subject in brackets before it. So you can't get up to your third level 
uh, and decide to do experience design 2 for example unless you've done DIG 103 and DID 203 subjects prior. So just plan your study path if you need help with that. Success coaches are there to help you and you can also uh, get advice from student services and other departments and academics. Um, you could also take a selection of subjects from these different uh, streams. You don't have to take all from, you know, all red, for example, if you start with developing visual vocabulary. You might take interaction design for your first elective and your second elective choice um, might be um, time, space and motion and then your third elective choice might be interface development and then you might choose to go across and do uh, inspiration to implementation when you get to your third year. Um, it's quite flexible. You are also able to take an elective from any Torrens University course in place of these electives with program director approval. So we'll just walk through trimester by trimester. So trimester one consists of design context, that's that foundation common core subject, then typographic fundamentals and thinking visually, which is thinking visually is a lovely exper experimental course, but it will teach you the essence and foundations, principles and ele elements of design, it's very important. Trimester two is a common core subject, design studio one, which is um, about materiality and again it, it's getting you off a computer and working very with very tactile three-dimensional elements and then you have your first elective choice and then a subject called data visualization which is about taking data and complex information and presenting it in a very simplified digestible uh, um, form. Trimester 3 is another communication, uh, sorry, common core subject called Design Studio 2 and then Typography 2 which is a shared subject with the Diploma of Graphic Design students. Trimester 4 consists of Design Studio 3 which is a common core subject which is about um, uh, branding design. Message Meaning and Media is your specialisation subject and you get your second elective choice in this trimester. Trimester 5, your common core subject is problem-based learning. Typography, typographic systems is the specialisation subject and your third elective choice sits in here. Trimester 6 is the common core discover, develop, deliver and then your fourth elective option fits within this um, trimester as well. Trimester 7 is social enterprise, another common core subject. You have a culture of change subject which is all about social impact and how design um, can beneficially have an impact on the world. And then elect elective 5 subject sits in here. That's your last elective option. Your second last trimester is a major project, packaging and branding and business by design. You see an example here of students that um, did a, um, a live industry brief in Major Project with Ogilvy Common Health and they got to present at the Vivid Ideas Exchange. Trimester 9 is Work Integrated Learning, Common Core subject we talked about earlier with um, internship or live brief option. And then the final subject is Portfolio subject. And you'll see photos here of our portfolio review session. This was at Ultimo campus where we had the last one with 15 studios present. It's like a speed dating experience. You get to research, you know who's coming, look at these, those um, studios, go around and show your portfolio and get feedback directly from industry within the safe environment amongst your peers. So finally, I'd say love what you do. Uh, choose the course that best suits your interests and your passions because if you enjoy something you will be good at it. So I welcome you to ask further questions if you need to through the chat or if you think of them afterwards to contact your course careers advisor.